I'm bracing for bad news. Um, not trying to start the video off on a bad note, but just being straight up. I'm bracing for bad news. Reason being because the Ravens not only signed one, but two cornerbacks. They signed uh, Blake Countess. He used to play for the Eagles, the Jets, uh, the Rams, and he plays some corner slash safety. He can hit. That, 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 that boy can hit. Um, he hasn't really gotten much starting experience. Only started four games. Uh, they also signed uh, Robert Jackson. They signed him uh, to their practice squad. Uh, but this, these signings, they for the Ravens to sign two cornerbacks, two, not one, but two, that tells me something is up. That tells me that something... We probably gonna get an announcement. Maybe by the time you see this video, the announcement will have already come out. But it, it tells me that something is up. And Ravens just last week they signed uh, Kevon um, uh, Seymour, um, and then they had to put him on a COVID list. But they signed uh, Tolliver too, another cornerback. But with them, the following week signing two more cornerbacks, and you only lost one to COVID now, and he'll be out for maybe maybe a game. But you only lost one to, one to COVID. So the fact that you signed two, I don't know. I just, I just feel like we're going to get bad news uh, any day now. But anyway, um, no Marlon Humphrey. He tweeted out earlier today with no context or anything. He just said COVID, COVID, COVID. So it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just bracing uh, for something. Now, uh, as far as the signings, with... Um, with Blake Countess, he was somebody I really didn't know much about. Had maybe heard his name before, but wasn't really familiar with him at all. Um, tried to look up a little bit of film on him. Didn't really see much. Uh, but it's crazy because when I looked up college stuff on him, I saw Michigan. Then I looked and I also saw Auburn. And I was like, huh? Did Oh, did is this, is this two different people? Are there two Blake Countesses? And, like, what happened? But... Apparently, he, he uh, ended up making uh, a switch. Um, so anyway, with that being said, uh, when you look at his numbers, like I said, he can hit. What, what I watched from uh, when I saw him in college, he got some decent speed now. Uh, but that boy, he, he ain't afraid to hit. And it seems as if the Ravens with um, oh, the last person that they sang, he was a hitter too. Uh, and just not afraid of contact. Not a Tolliver. Tolliver was the one. He was he he could hit and he's not afraid of contact. So Ravens, they know they probably know like, hey man, it's getting cold outside. And some people just some people don't like hitting. Some people don't like tackling. And we know that was an issue for the Ravens earlier this season. It's gotten a lot better. A lot better. But Ravens, they it's like they they preparing. And the guys that they bringing on, they making sure they bring on corners that can tackle. Uh, so anyway, uh, when you look at uh, Blake Countess's numbers from from college, first from college, um, freshman year, and he was with Michigan for three years. Um, well, actually, it looks like four years because 2012. I don't know what happened 2012. Maybe he got hurt or something. But 2011, 2013, 2014, uh, his first year, he got he he had uh, 44 tackles, one and a half tackles for loss. Uh, okay. It had six passes def def defended, so that's cool for a cornerback. No picks, but he defended six passes. All right, cool. And he did that in 12 games. All right, cool. But then the following year, well, two years later in 2013, uh, that's when he made this big jump, apparently. Apparently, he got his swagger back. He got that confidence. And he was like, oh, man, I'm, I'm getting ready for the draft. I'm trying to make a name for myself. So he had 46 tackles. He had two tackles for a loss, but he got six interceptions. Six. That's pretty good. That's pretty great. Six interceptions, whether you're on a collegiate or you're on an NFL level, six interceptions is great. Because when you, if you're getting six interceptions, like some people, you can get one interception. It could be like, oh, he was at the right place at the right time. You can get two interceptions. Go, oh, yeah, the ball, it, it just so happened to bounce his way. But you get six, like, that's, that's skill, man. That takes skill. Because it ain't going to be just, oh, the ball just so happened to bounce his way six times in a season. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So that's nice. So it, it seems as if his confidence got up and his game went up too. Uh, now, the following year, uh, he didn't get – oh, no. The following year, yeah, he didn't get any interceptions, 2014. Uh, and then he ended up going to Auburn. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm, I don't know what the, happened there. Don't know the backstory. 
Uh, but he ended up getting two interceptions after that. Uh, but anyway, that is uh, our new corner. And I'm, I mean, I'm over here speaking on him like he hasn't played in the NFL because, again, he has. Uh, he played, again, for the Rams from 2016 to 2018. He started two games, or he started a total of four games. He started two games in 2016, one game in 2017, and one game in 2018. Uh, so, and then with the Jets, he didn't start at all. And with the uh, Eagles, he didn't start at all. And with those two years combined, 2019 and 2020, he played a total of uh, eight games combined. So, not much game action uh, from Blake Countess. Um but there is some experience being sort of a uh, role player in the locker room. And I would assume that's what he would be with the Baltimore Ravens. A role player. Possible special teams guy. Possible come in in a pinch. Possible just get some help. So let's see how this thing goes. Um, now, Robert Jackson. Uh, Robert Jackson, let, let's, let's, let's look him up, by the way. See what's going on with Robert Jackson. Because uh, he's somebody I'm, I'm also not very uh, familiar with either. Six foot two, so he got some size on him. Uh, he, let me see. Oh, he just played for Cleveland. That's it. Just played for Cleveland. Um, came there in 2019. Shout out to Lamar Jackson, MVP season. Uh, played in six games. Didn't record any stats, anything like that. Uh, well, actually, he did. He got three tackles. Maybe he was playing on special teams. And then 2020, played in 10 games and started one game, too. Started one game and got one pass defended, six tackles. So, okay. So, again, um, not much experience there either uh, for Robert Jackson. Uh, went to UNLV. Um Oh, he's from Florida. Oh, that's another thing. Okay, so Robert Jackson from Florida. That's why the Ravens signed. Now it makes sense. But just to backtrack to um to Blake Countess, he is from Owings Mills, Maryland. So both of these players, they will literally feel right at home being members of the Ravens. They'll both be right at home. <laughs> Cause like again, you one from Maryland and one from Florida. Oh yeah. Come aboard. Come aboard. Come on. Come join these Baltimore, Florida Ravens. You are more than welcome. Um, but yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm still concerned. It's right now, as of this recording, it's 143. Uh, I haven't seen, heard anything yet. Um, but <laughs> I don't know, man. Still waiting. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll see what goes down. We'll hopefully it's nothing crazy. Um, mm -mm. Jeff Zrebic literally just tweeted at 143. He said the Ravens that he did not see practicing were Patrick Ricard, Devin Duvernay, Nick Boyle, Patrick McCarry, Cedric Ogbui, Bradley Bozeman, and Justin Houston. But then here's the kicker. The other people that he didn't see practicing, Anthony Averitt, Tavon Young, Chris Westry. Anthony Avery did come back in the game against the Browns. Yeah, he had a nice, quiet game, so that was good. Tavon Young, he played as well. Chris Westry, I don't believe he played. Um, so I don't know. That's three cornerbacks not practicing. Hopefully, it's not one of those things. Hopefully, even though I'm, I'm already preparing myself, I'm, I'm, I'm bracing for it. But hopefully, it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, COVID strikes again. Oh, COVID done hit up the DB room. Hopefully it's not one of those scenarios. Hopefully, hopefully it's nothing. Hopefully this is just me overthinking it. Hopefully, but I don't know, man. It, mm, I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, we'll see what it is, and hopefully, like nobody is due to COVID when it comes to the Ravens. Uh, I'm out.